Welcome to this new lesson of Visual Basic Programming. In today's lesson, we will cover the topic of data types. Let's first define what is data. In computer science, a data refers to an information stored or processed by a computer. Now, each data has a type. So as you can see here, in my example, I declared dim number as an integer equals 20. 20 is a data. So I have to give it a type, and I gave it the type integer. So therefore, a data type is a classification of data. So when we say data type, we are basically saying what type of data the variable may contain. When you decide to use a variable, you are in fact asking the computer to use certain amount of space to hold your variable, as you can see here in our example. Since different variables will be used for different purposes, you should always specify the kind of variable you want to use. The computer will figure out how much space is needed for a particular variable. Each variable, as you can see from this slide, utilizes a certain amount of space in the computer's memory. As you see here, the variable uh, number, which holds the value 20, is declared as an integer. An integer uses more space in memory than the second example that we have, my number, uh, which is declared as a byte, and a byte holds less space in memory than the integer. And therefore, before declaring or using any variable, you have to decide what kind of role your variable will play in your program, and you have to be aware of how much space your variable will use in memory. Visual Basic offers two types of data types. We have primitive data types and we have non-primitive data types. The primitive data types are divided into three subcategories. We have numeric data type, we have character data type, and we have miscellaneous data type. Let's first start with the numeric data type. The numeric data type, as you see from this slide, is divided into two subcategories. We have integral and non-integral data types. The integral data types are those that represent only numbers without fractional parts. So the integral data types are whole numbers. They do not contain any decimal point or any fractional parts. The byte data type is a small natural positive number that ranges from 0 to 255. The byte data type storage allocation is 1 byte and it's usually used for small values such as person's age. The next data type is short. The short data type holds two bytes storage allocation and its value ranges from negative uh, 32,768 through positive 32,767. Then we have the S byte which holds one byte uh, storage allocation and its value ranges from negative 128 through positive 127. The integer is the most common used numeric data type. The integer storage allocation is 4 bytes and its value ranges uh, from negative 2,147,000,000 to uh, 2,147,000,000,000 positive. The U integer storage allocation is 4 bytes and it holds uh, values from 0 
to approximately 4 billion 294 million basically it's double of the integer it's double from the uh, positive side because the u integer doesn't have any negative numbers it starts from zero now the long holds eight bytes of storage allocation and it is a huge number more than i believe uh, uh, negative uh, starts from negative nine trillion and some uh, something and it ends in um, here i have nine trillion two hundred and thirty three billion it's a big number it's a very very big number uh, then we have the U long, and the U long holds eight bytes of storage allocation, and it's a very big, uh, very very large number. It starts from zero to uh, more than eighteen trillion. Now, what do we mean by unsigned data type, such as the byte and the U integer and the U long? The unsigned data types do not hold a negative number and the other ones the ones that are not unsigned they are signed and therefore they hold negative numbers that's the only difference between unsigned and signed numeric data types now the non-integral numeric types are those that represent numbers with both integers and fractional parts and we have a single and the single holds four bytes of memory alloca allocation and it's also a big number uh, that uh, ranges from negative uh, three billion I believe and it goes up to a big number then we have the U short then we have the decimal and the decimal is also one of the most common used integers and it is usually used for money values the double data type holds 8 bytes of uh, storage location and it is also a very very big number and it can be used for uh, fractions and stuff like that okay now let's move to the character data type the character data type we have the char type and we have the string type the char type holds 2 bytes of storage allocation and it is used to hold one single character meaning you can uh, say dim uh, for example uh, letter as char equals for example uh, H or a B one single character when it comes to the string the string is the most common used character data type and the string holds from 0 to approximately 2 billion Unicode characters you can put a lot of characters in the string lastly we have the uh, miscellaneous data type which is the last type of the primitive data types the miscellaneous and in the miscellaneous we have the boolean data type and basically the boolean data type uh, its memory sto storage depends on the implementing platform and it holds the value of true or false then we have the data type then we have the object type these are the types of the primitive data types now finally we have the non primitive data types and here we have class structure enumeration and arrays and in our uh, lessons we're not going to deal with these uh, data types because uh, they are above our level we will be only dealing with the arrays in future lessons but we're not gonna be dealing with classes structures and enumeration we're not gonna be dealing with this uh, type of data types hopefully next year we will uh, take a look at at these uh, data types all right now the primitive data types are also called in visual basic they are called uh, predefined data types and the non primitive data types are called user defined data types because they are created rather than predefined by the program itself and with this we come to the end of this lesson I hope the uh, 
concept of data types is clear now and uh, I would like to thank you for watching and you have a good day